God bless your global Christian friends. God bless the American people, the American public, and the American government. How can you be so specific and exact about what the Lord said if you're not there to listen exactly to those exact words which he speaks so that you can write them for those of us who would come afterwards hungering for just such words by the thirst is sold of salvation by the armies. How could these four simple words requests from the mouth of the Savior of the world be recorded? Give me to drink. If his disciples were gone away and the writing of this entire incident at this world of sidecar, which means falsehood, is reported and prescribed by the hand of the Apostle John, being one of his disciples, who went away into the city to buy meat. Who would then be present with an ink horn and tablet to write every precious word of this incident at the well? If John had stayed with Jesus while the other disciples had gone away to buy meat, why then did he write, for his other disciples were going away <clears throat> under the city to buy meat. If the apostle John had gone away with his disciples and afterward had had an audience with this woman for the purpose of history in the church afterwards, she would have had to have said to him, he said to me, give me to drink. We need to look beyond thinking humans into momentum for heavenly answers and not to earth the reasonings for heavenly results for the world. We therefore turn to John 4 and 1. When you have on the garment the mantles of the Lord, causing you to behold the subatomic and the microcosmic as well as below the subatomic and the macrocosmic in these days and times of modernization for space travel and astrophysics. You will hear and write exactly every incident and word that he would require his children to know. Furthermore, he would provide for every necessity to complete their understandings of them. All the true prophets of God bear this truth, and they bear it out unto the word of God came and unto whom the word of God came. Here's proof of this truth from someone who is not a prophet, nor is he of Israel. And one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, Elisha means God is my salvation. The prophet that is in Israel, and I want to say he performed more than 14 miracles during his lifetime and afterwards, with standing relics and shrines today in Israel, even for the apostle John, Peter, and Paul. For he telleth the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bedchamber. That's Second Kings chapter 6, verse 12. In John 4 and 1 we read, When therefore the Lord, think about how Jesus quoted David in Matthew 22, 43 through 45, and Mark 
12, 35, and Luke uh, 20, 41 through 43. The Lord said in John 1 and John 4 and 1, the Lord knew, keep that in mind, the Lord knew. The Lord knew the how of everything before it became the works of anything. How the fish were to swim, how the birds were to fly, how the grass, fruit trees, and herbs were to grow, how each bird were to sing, and how each fish and bird were to be clothed, how each planet were to move in elliptical orbit, and who of the stars said, I call them all by names, Isaiah 40 and 26, who said, My hand also hath laid the foundation of the earth, and my right hand hath spanned uh, the heavens. When I call unto them, they stand up together. Isaiah 48 and 13. Think about uh, 93 billion light years across, crosswise, about the upper heavens. You get some idea about the right hand expanse of God. So we see that all things and everything is subject unto him, especially those things which are written about his son, Jesus. John 4 and 1 we read, When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. Let's not forget what John said in John 3 and 30. He said, I must increase, but he must, I must decrease, but he must increase. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Read it. He must increase, but I must decrease. And uh, though Jesus himself baptized not, but his disciples, he had left Judea and departed again into Galilee. And he must needs go through Samaria. Keep that in mind. He must needs go through Samaria. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, which means falsehood. Near to the apostle of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Verse 6, 4 and 6. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being weary with his journey, sat there on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. We'll take this up the next time, Global Christian Friends.